guaranteed paid sick time. So that's not cool and that's not right and it's definitely not good and it's definitely not what we want to hear from Joe Biden. What we want to see is that Joe Biden do more for the people in sending out stimulus payments because he should definitely do something now while he still has the chance. Because... As the U.S. enters a recession this year, everybody, we have important news for Social Security, SI, SDI, and even SSA. They have proposed a brand new stimulus program. When I say they, I'm talking about Democrats and Republicans. They will allocate billions of dollars towards new relief. Some Americans will receive these checks automatically, while others are going to take half to a little bit more action. So there is a little less than a month before Colorado residents even who file their taxes receive this extra money. The Colorado Cashback Program, for instance, will give taxpayers who file their 2021 taxes by October 17, 750 bucks by the end of this month of January. Eligible couples will get 1500 bucks, and even the governor who said the law in May is set to return the money to taxpayers as he originally intended for the payment to be 400 bucks for individual filers and $800 for couples. According to the Colorado Department of Revenue, the amount was increased through the excess state revenue. The payment arriving by the end of the month will be for state residents who filed an extension. And the first round of payments was for people who had filed their taxes by June 30th and paid the residents September 30th payments. So, example of this is what I'm talking about. And when Colorado residents, they must be 18 or older by the end of this year to claim this free stimulus credit. Free stimulus credit, folks, because if a taxpayer who is eligible to receive this check owes any money to the government, like a child support or unpaid parking tickets, well, the rebate amount will decrease. Also, everybody, President Biden and top lawmakers fanned out across the country this week to visit bridges that are said to be prepared with new infrastructure money. President stopped at, for instance, the Brent Spent Bridge, which crosses the Ohio River connecting Connecticut and uh, Kentucky, the event touting an infusion of repair money. Repair money going to bridges, not people. Why is it going to bridges? I have no idea, everybody. We all have to blame it on President Biden because the focus of the White House and the GOP leadership on areas of bipartisan cooperation is a marked contrast to the House representatives as they're still struggling to enact somebody to take charge. So what I want to say is that the infrastructure law put aside $100 billion for roads and bridges and now rural broadband, ports, and other atoms are having some difficulties around us. For instance, this week's visit coincided with the announcement that approximately $2 billion of the money will be set aside for repairs in a large bridge program, which includes the Brent Spent Bridge and three other bills that the administration describes as some of America's most economically significantly significant spans. $150,000 for couples, but those checks will now phase out faster. For individuals now, if you make more than $80,000, you will not receive a check. And for couples, that cutoff is $160,000. Now, this was really a response to moderate Democrats who were concerned that the checks were not very well targeted. And I am told that President Biden has signed off on this change. All around $1.4 billion were made by paper check. Roughly 858,000 refunds were distributed by direct deposit. It totaled around $500 million. The refunds came as a result of the chapters in the Massachusetts law that gives the state taxpayers free stimulus cash. Not only that, folks, but $1,240 stimulus checks are actually real and are actually being sent out. That's because Social Security recipients will get a hefty raise in 2023. That's next year. And that's with your benefits rising 8% in the most of four decades. The inflation-related bump may convince some retirees into tapping their benefits early, before they even reach the full retirement age. Because according to the Social Security Administration, the cost of living adjustment will just boost the average retiree's monthly payment by 150 to 1900 bucks next year. A policy, policy analyst already said that an advocacy group for 90, 70 million retirees, disabled people and others, that the increase will just simply help them catch up to inflation. They had a 40-year high of 10% earlier this year. The Social Security Administration already said that the Social Security is the most successful anti-poverty program in the country. Now, when President Roosevelt signed the Security Act into law, it helped so many people and was a retirement program for workers. It was just part of a historic New Deal, and the first lump sum payments were made in 1937. But now, in 2022, according to the National Academy of Social Insurance, today's workers pay Social Security taxes into the program. And the money is dispersed as monthly income to beneficiaries in a pay-as-you-go system. One in five Americans receive the benefits, including more than 47 million retired workers and dependents, 10 million disabled workers and dependents, and 6 million survivors of deceased workers. According to a new report, almost all Americans shall wait beyond the age of 65. 
just to claim their full Social Security benefits, with more than 90% should not hold out until 70 when they get even more, but only 10% wait until 7 years old. So the advice comes as Americans live longer and face a retirement that could last more years. I'm sure you're getting the same calls I'm getting. Look, there are millions of other Americans who do not or are not on Medicare, including 200,000 young people with type 1 diabetes and need this insulin to stay alive. Let's finish the job this time. Let's cap the cost of insulin for everybody at $35. Folks. He went to Bills, and this time he is lucky to be able to do a little something nice for himself. Another DMV resident telling us on Twitter she's, quote, not doing anything particularly interesting with her check. Those eligible getting $1,400 payments or more for married couples and those with children. If you have the ability to put the payment toward other things, financial experts say setting aside some money to reward yourself can be... And well, they will definitely bring down inflation. They will cause some pain to households and businesses and bring some pain to them because that's just how it is. The Fed has hiked interest rates for four times. And this year, already an effort to stanch the stanch price increases. When the Fed raises interest rates, money becomes more expensive to borrow, harder to get, and more worthwhile to save. According to The Hill, the Fed wants demand for goods and services to fall closer to supply, which is dwindled as a result of obstacles created by the crisis. In an ideal world, the Fed can raise, can raise the interest rates gradually to enough to bring- Economists tell us, spend the money, invest the money, for those who need it the most, because they will spend it, it will be a stimulus, or at least a stabilization, of, of uh, and, and that's a good thing. The argument is over how much is appropriate at this particular juncture as we struggle to get the economy back. According to state officials in Connecticut, healthcare workers, grocery store employees, and private sector employees who staffed vital services during the first two years of the crisis can begin applying for up to $1,000. It won't be clear until early October where the applicants will receive as much as $1,000, and that's because legislators and the governor, Ned Lamont, allocated just $30 million for the program. He said that Connecticut's essential workers have gone above and beyond during the crisis to keep it safe, keep, to keep the state running and safe. The new premium pay program is another way for us to return the favor, for these funds are truly meaningful. Every essential worker needs to know that they're available. To be eligible, an applicant must have worked between March 10th and May 7th of 2022 in one of these, in one of these occupations that the state has listed. Some of the frontline workers in these categories include healthcare personnel. Eligible applicants must earn at less. Some of the frontline workers in these categories include healthcare personnel, food and agricultural workers, grocery store staff, and public transit workers. Applicants must earn less than 150 grand 